Hello everyone. How's it going? How's it going everyone tonight? Um yeah, just thought I'd come on, have a chat. Um you guys can ask some questions. How's everyone doing? I'll just wait for a few more people. NRL edits joined. How's it going? So you're the guy behind the page? Yeah, I am. I am. That's me. If you guys got any questions, um, put them through and I'll answer them. So, um, yeah, finals this weekend. Um, Roosters and Manly tomorrow night. Panthers uh, versus Panthers tomorrow night, uh, Saturday night. So if you guys got any questions, just send them through. Uh, do you like Adam Fenua Blake? Yes, I do. He's a great player. Um, had a great season. Warriors for life said, hey, how's it going, Warriors for life? Yeah, so if you got any questions, um, Warriors, NRL, um, just send them through and I'll answer them. Obviously, finals this week. So, uh, yeah, two very good games coming up this weekend. Also, if you want to join the, the um, live stream, you can send a request and, um, yeah, I'll accept it. If you would like to join, that is... Um, He's on Warriors Faithful. How's it going? Uh, thoughts on Shinaris Tavita possibly leaving? Yeah, I mean, it's very interesting. I don't think he'll leave. Um, yeah, I just don't see him leaving, personally. I think he's just doing it to, um, you know, see what clubs are out there. But, um, yeah, I, just, I don't think he's going to leave, personally, for me. Uh, I think he'll be here next year. But uh, no surprise that he's trying to... Um, Test the open market, which I'm sure a lot of players do anyway. So, yeah, I think he'll stay. Uh, yeah, no, it's all good. And uh, don't, I don't want to worry about it, to be honest. I mean, you know, people are going to hate out there. So, yeah, it's best to ignore them, actually. So, you know. Uh, Nick from Australia, how's it going? Um... Hello, bro. How's it going, Nick from Australia? Nice new logo. Uh, bro, thoughts on why the Warriors always let their best juniors go? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how to answer that one, personally. I think it's um, it's a, it's a system, you know. It's a system. So, yeah. I can't really answer that one. I, I don't know whether it's it's just a club thing sort of thing, but um, I'm not too sure. Thoughts on my new logo rated out of 10, says Nick from Australia. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's great. It's an awesome logo, Nick. But, uh, yeah, look, I, I think tomorrow night, you know, you've got the uh, Roosters and Manly game, which I reckon will be a good game. Um, I'm going to tip the... Uh, I've, I'm tipping the uh, Manly Seagulls to win, but I would not be surprised if Roosters um, give it a red-hot crack, actually. And uh, I think the Panthers will, will bounce back and beat Parramatta on Saturday night. So, yeah, two very good games coming up this week. But yeah, if you guys got any questions, just send them through into the um, live um, thing there. It's the question mark tab. Tab right there. Just send them through. Proenzo Vids is joining. How's it going, Proenzo Vids? Also, if you'd like to join the live stream, you can send a request if you'd like. Just come on and chat footy. Uh, who do you think is going to win the grand final? Um, look, at the moment, I think it's going to be Melbourne. But... Um, I hope it's the Panthers. I'm, I'm, I want to see the Penrith Panthers win it, actually. So, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a Melbourne, probably Melbourne South Grand Final. CJ Moxley, how's it going? Says he's keen for the semi-finals. So am I. It's going to be great. Two good games. Hey, mate. 
Hey, uh, how's it going? Good, mate. Just uploaded a YouTube video. What are you up to? Oh, not much. Thought I'd just jump on. I haven't been on, on these lives for a long time. I haven't done one in a while, so thought I'd just jump on. Yeah, sounds good, bro. Sounds good. What's happening today? Not much? Uh, not much, no, not much. What about you? Oh, yeah, just stuck in isolation, mate. I, I can't leave my room until probably 3 o'clock tomorrow. I, I can't leave my house. Yeah, that, that that's a shame, mate. Is, it, is there a COVID case here or something? Or Yeah, whatever? mate, yeah, mate. COVID case in Lismore and I had to get tested at 2 o'clock this afternoon, so I am not allowed to leave the house. Who's joining us here? Hang on, who's oh. this? Oh. oh, fuck, it's Lorenzo. Pro Enzo Vids. Pro Enzo Vids. Hey, Nick, hey, Fanatics. Hey, oh, how's it going? Wait, I, was waiting, I was waiting for the question in the chat. Hello. Nick, <laughs> when are you getting the tattoo, mate? Well, mate, we're back in lockdown again. Fuck me, Dad. It was all good. I had a, I had a day and a date planned out. I was going to do a YouTube video on it. And then the lockdown happened. It started tonight at 6 o'clock. It goes yeah, that's days, me. How... So I'm no, fucking lockdown now. So... How's, it... How's it going? Hey. Hang on, guys. Someone in the chat here. Did... Hang on. This guy's a legend. Nick, I'm emailing Fox Sports to stand all of the grubs there down and passing the post-match analyst to you and Sammy Boy. Cheers, bro. Champ is in here. Champ is in the live here. What happened to Lorenzo? His connection's cut now. Yeah. You might need to kick out Lorenzo and then add him back. Yeah. His connection's Hold on. Oh, Try again. How you going, Freeney? Lorenzo's oh. Wi-Fi just died in the ass. <laughs> yeah, his Wi-Fi probably just... How the entertain house is joined? How's it going, entertain house? All sorts of people do. Everyone needs to bow down there. Yeah, I can't hear you. Hang on. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I, I must have been holding the microphone. No, I said they should get a fucking statue outside Entertain House, um, um, outside Bankwest Stadium. Champa. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see what Jai wrote in the chat? Fuck <laughs> me. What? Who? Jai. He's a funny oh. bastard. He said, Entertain House has a hot missus. Come on, bro. Come on. No need for that. Uh, hey, Warriors for next. Great work. Keep up your post. Thanks, New Zealand Warriors. HQ9. That's it. Uh, Ruin Hammer's joining us. No, Ruin Hammer. Um, guys, so yeah, if you've got any questions, um, to send them through. Me, me and Nick will answer them. Any questions? Someone just told me to go get a mullet. <laughs> How about no? <laughs> am, I, am I doing a live this weekend? Um, yeah, potentially. <laughs> Lorenzo in the chat. <laughs> Lorenzo, join back, way. It'll work. It's I think the other night we had like four people on, and it was all good. Oh, yeah, it worked the other night. We just use it. your data, uh, Lorenzo, if it doesn't work. Just use your data, bro. Mate, um, bro, you looking forward to next year? Obviously, we're a long way away now. Warriors, mate, how, how do you reckon they'll go uh, next year, brother? Yeah, look, I, I think, you know, it, it just all depends, you know, how... You know the squad comes together, and you know how the off season goes. I think, look, I think we can still make. I can. I think we can make the eight next year. I think you know, having lots of Sean Johnson inside is going to help. You know, with his, you know, leadership experience. You know, I think it, um, the only thing I do um, have concerns is Sean Johnson. How long he can stay fit for the whole season? Do you think um, the Warriors will play any games back in New Zealand? At all? Uh, look, the plan at the moment, um, the plan is obviously, you know, they'll be based in Redcliffe. Yep. And uh, they'll be playing some games here, obviously. And, 
Yeah, I, I think we might get some games in New Zealand. It, um, it all depends on the borders, obviously, with borders opening up. So, no, the yeah, borders are so strict. Yeah. The borders are so strict. All it takes is for one person to get it, get the bloody, you know, the, the Chinese virus, and then it's, a, it's crazy. It's all, literally all it takes. But, mate, literally, I'm in lockdown. I'm in mine isolation. I'm not, not even allowed to leave, leave the fucking room, basically. I'm stuck in my own room here. Have a look at this. In my room. Here we go. I'll show you my kingdom. Can't even leave the fucking house. Speaking of the Warriors, I was, was going to play the game before. Warriors and the Roosters on Rugby Live 4. Got my little background here. Mate, I am not allowed to leave the Yo. fucking room. Oh, Lorenzo's back. You're back. <laughs> yep. Hey, hey um, so much for the Macca's Wi-Fi, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, Jesus Christ, CJ. Fuck me dead. No need for that. Oh, who's Jaden? Wait, who's Jaden is he talking about? Because I've got a few Jadens that watch my channel. I wasn't even reading the chat properly. I uh, need... so it's one that told me. It's the one that told me I had Macca's Wi-Fi, whatever. Uh, I wouldn't stuff. get so offensive about it. You should probably just, probably, just, probably just taking the piss out of you. Yeah, probably. Who cares? I wouldn't worry about it too much. Mate, um, fuck, mate. We're all on here tonight. It's looking good. The, the live chat here. 15 people watching. Yeah, I'll just read some questions here. Yeah, go um, on, mate. Read them out. Yeah, the C yeah CJ Moxley's asked, thoughts on CHT potentially leaving the Warriors? They won't want to. I won't want to let him go. The fuck, I can't okay. let him go. He's a future, I reckon, of the Warriors. If they let him go, I will literally, I'll snap. Because, look, I've been talking up Chanel Harris to it for a very long time. Everyone knows it. Um, you can't let him go, man. I think he's such a great player. He's one of the best defensive halves in the comp. And yeah, he may not have had the best year, but he was injured for a lot of it, so... I think, um, yeah, I wouldn't. I hope he. I hope he's. I hope he stays. Yep. Uh, question here: New Zealand Warriors dot HQ um, nine asks says um, Dullin at six, or uh, Dullin at one, and uh, Walsh at six. He reckons. Fuck that! Nah. Fuck that! I, I don't see it. No, I don't see it happening. Um, I still think you know people suggesting Walsh should be a. A half. I think he's better at fullback for me. So, mate, last time yeah. I saw, last time I saw Dallin Watanee Zelezniak play fullback, I wanted to put cucumbers in my fucking eyes. <laughs> Was that bad? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. What else, who else is asking questions? Let, let, get the chat. Yeah. yeah, just keep keep. Keep sending your questions through, then we'll... Fire we'll away, lads. I'm and... fucking here tonight. I'm here. Send them I through. I'm going to stay on here at 8 o'clock because my brother's doing a live stream on Twitch at 8 o'clock, so I've got 16 minutes, so... Yeah, footy. Yeah, talk some footy. Talk some footy. I may consider going downstairs and using my data and going live, but we'll see. Like I said, yeah. I'm stuck in lockdown. I'm, I can't leave my house. I can go downstairs because there's a spare room down there. I can go down there, but I can't go any further than that. Yeah. Really? Who the fuck's Jason David? No idea. Uh, some, it's some TikToker yeah. who goes to the Bulldogs, I think. I couldn't give two fucks about TikTok. I don't, I don't have it. Here's a yeah, question same. for you. Cody, send the question in. Yeah, do do you think Joseph Martin is coming to the Warriors? Um, look, I, I I don't know. I really don't know. I think the Warriors got a chance to get him. Definitely. I mean, there's rumours at the moment going around that you know, the likes of Fuss Tua and uh, Cody Nakarim and I think it's O'Sullivan. They're all rumoured to be leaving. I I don't know if it's all true at the moment, but um, I think it's a possibility. Um, but I, I don't know. I just. Yeah, I'm not sure. No, I can't see it. I can't see yeah. him leaving the Roosters. I can't see it happening. Yeah, same. He'll stay there, I reckon. Yeah. I think Joseph Manu is a out-and-out -out rooster. I don't think he should leave the Roosters. Yeah, for sure. Oi, um, Lorenzo, mate. This time tomorrow night will be the um, 
Seagulls and the Roosters, are you excited or what? Yeah, no, no, I am. I am excited. I mean, you know, obviously if we lose, I'll be going on a bit of a rant. But I um, <laughs> hope not. <clears throat> but no, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll, you know, give the Roosters a, a red hot crack tomorrow. I mean, Roosters are always going to be in the game. They're a competitive side, so it's going to be tough. But um, I think we'll bounce back. I, I am confident in saying that. So, yeah, yeah hopefully, you know, we'll be all right tomorrow, and we should. Well, I was watching um, a mortal behaviour this afternoon. Andrew Johns reckons Manly will win well tomorrow night. So the A for Mortal is calling Manly to win, to win big tomorrow night. Hopefully. Hopefully. That'd be good. There's a question from, what's his name? New Zealand Warriors HQ. Yeah. Uh, what about Fusa Tour? Will he get used next year? I, I think Fusa Tour is leaving. I, I think he's gone. I, I don't I don't see him staying, actually. Um. Yeah, I... I don't know if the club, you know, wants to keep him. Gee, I'll tell you what. If anyone signs him, they'll be taking a big punt because um, yep. he hasn't played for a while and he's got a very bad history of homesickness. So, um, geez, if he does leave the Warriors, his match fitness will be very um, be very questionable. He'll have to get really fit. I'm interested to see what happens there. I don't know. I don't. I don't know where. I don't know where he would go. I really don't know. I think a club like oh, maybe the Bunnies. I, I've got no idea. He could. Who knows? Yeah, potentially. But no, I think he's a good player. I think you know he's. I mean, in twenty eighteen, he was a, a fantastic player. But ever since then, he's gone downhill. Like his form has declined very badly. I think four years ago now, going into next year, so been a while, three, four years ago. Exactly, yeah. Yep. We'll see how we go. We'll, we'll see how we go. See if we get to get to club. Oh, that's yep. a good question from Cody. Good question. Yeah. What do you reckon, Fanatics? Um, oh, I think they'll improve. I don't I don't um, see them doing that bad this year. I think they'll improve. They'll probably just miss out. I think they'll just miss out for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I think they'll be better. I mean, next year they should be at least not a bottom 14 next year because I think if the Dogs do finish in the bottom four again, I think Barrett has to go. Um, yeah, Trent Barrett needs to go. They finish in the bottom four. I, I think they'll come about 11th to maybe 9th or 8th if they're lucky. But, um, yeah, I can't see them getting any more high than that. Mate, I've... I think the Bulldogs will improve. I think that I think they'll be around that twelve to tenth position, but I just don't think they have enough quality to get into that top eight. I just think they lack a bit more. They just need, need a bit more quality in key positions, especially in the spine, to be a top eight side. But they're on the up. There's absolutely no doubt. But Kyle Flanagan's fucked. If you go watch my Bulldogs yeah. review tonight, I uploaded it about fifteen minutes ago. Carl Flanagan's under all sorts of pressure, and I think he's been a waste of money. Oh, for sure, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Any definitely. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. Do you? Nah. I don't see that. No. Nah. A block of cheese ain't going to the Warriors. Sorry, Warriors fans. It's a ne- lot of them. A lot of yes. them want it to happen, but it just won't happen. A block of cheese ain't going to go to. Ain't going to New yeah. Zealand. Can't see it now. Nah. What's this, Josh saying? To talk shit about Flano? No, he's fucking shit, mate. What did he do? He was at the Roosters, played in the final series, his first final series, ran for zero run meters in the game against Penrith, and he did nothing against Canberra the week after. So, mate, Kyle Flanagan's career has been a complete failure so far. I'm just being honest, bro. Yeah, what, true. When yeah. I talk about players... Yeah that I want to see do well, I will criticise them. And when they prove me wrong, I will let you know about it. Because um, how many years did I bash on Nathan Cleary? You, you, you fellas would know. Lorenzo, Fanatics, you would know. Yep. I just bashed Nathan Cleary for yep. fucking yep. years. And now now he's, he's proved me wrong. And fair play to him. Yeah, he's been better for sure, yeah. Kyle Flanagan has got nothing. 
Anyway, uh, you, what's this question? Yeah. Do you see uh, local laws potentially coming to worries? No, don't don't see it happening. That would be, be a fucking like Nathan it. Brown move. That that would be a typical Nathan Brown coaching move. To be honest. Yeah. No. Don't, don't sign him up. I think I think Warriors can do better, in my opinion. Uh, and someone said, someone's asked here, why are so many Warriors questions? Well, because I'm a Warriors page, so that's probably why. Well, you got a Cowboys fan and a Manly fan that have joined, so just ask yeah. whatever you want. I, I couldn't care less. Yeah. Um, oh, here's a question there we go. related to the Warriors. Uh, besides Tommy, best play at Manly. Great question. Great question. Lorenzo, you are you are you go first, bro. Yeah, no, that's a good that's a good question by Chamber actually. Yeah. Um besides Tommy I reckon it's between Foran and Cherry Evans, I feel like. I, I feel like it's just between them two, I feel I think. I mean there's Jake up there as well, but no, I think Foz and Cherry Evans are for me two of the other best Manly players there. because uh, I think without one of them would probably struggle a little bit, in my opinion. So yeah, I'd say that opinion. What, what do you guys think? Are we talking this year or are we talking about their careers? Because if, if we're talking this year, mate, you've got to throw Oliver Kawatsu in there. You've got to throw Jason Saab and Ruben Garrick yep. up there. If we're talking career-wise, then we're talking Sherry Evans and Kieran Foran, you know. There's a lot. Everyone's talking about Isaiah Papali for five of the year, but mate, Kieran Foran, he has to be up there for five of the year. He, he's fucking outstanding. That's thing. Yeah, well, someone, someone's called me um, deluded for it. But, um, yeah, he's been great this year anyway, so whatever. Everyone's yeah. in the chat. Come on, boys. Just keep it PG tonight. It's just – come on. I know there's no Thursday night football. There's no more Thursday night football this year. I understand it. Last Thursday night, we all struggled with our footy on. Don't need to be arguing in the fucking comments. Jesus Christ. Come on, man. Too much shit talk. Yeah. Don't need to be arguing. Yeah. Let's just get on and be positive and talk some fucking rugby league, lads. It's nothing fucking yeah, exactly. better, cunt. It's nothing better! <laughs> oh, here's a question no. here. Yeah, Evan um, Jack Gard- Gardner's asked, who's, who in the bottom eight will make the top eight next next season and why? I'm not going to predict that right yeah. now because I've got no idea what teams are going to do, but... I am very confident that the Tigers will miss the finals. And I think the Dragons will probably miss the finals as well. I think everyone else, it's it's literally fair game. Ah, oh, the fake blocker. Rogers in the chat. Yes, I love this guy. Blocker! You big sexy bastard. Love that guy. I love you too, Blocker. <laughs> love that guy. Fuck, he's a funny cunt. Love him. Love Blocker. Anyway, Lorenzo, yeah, yeah. Too... go on, Brian, to the question. Uh, no, nah, it's, it's too early. It, it is too early, I think. I, I'd, my, my predictions, I'd say, will come out about February next year, I think. That's, that's, my, that's what I would probably do next My year. predictions normally come out a week or two before the season now because you do it before the fucking trial game. Someone gets injured, you, your tips go out the window. Look at last year. Everyone had Manly around 7th or 8th and... Turbo got injured, everyone had him going to 12. And it's just, you've got to wait until a week before the season starts to lock him in because anything can happen. You know, someone could be at training and that could roll their ankle and just bang. You know, it affects, yeah, their, exactly. it affects their prediction. So you've got to wait until probably a week before the season starts just to be safe, I reckon. Yeah, I, I, yeah for sure. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to make predictions now, to be fair, you know. Is there change. any team that, that you can guarantee that won't make the eight, like that you can't see improving? Um, look, right now I'm going to say. Oh. Um, also, the also the Tigers. Yeah, also the Tigers. I just I can't see the Tigers or the Dragons yeah. making the eight at all. I just can't see it. I think Tigers Tigers and Dragons, I think. I mean, I mean, Dragons will improve, but they won't make it yet, I don't think. And I can't see the Titans backing up what they did this year. I think they'll crumble next year. That's just what I reckon. Yeah, well. There's a question for you in the chat. 
Great yeah, question. Uh, yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I, I'm a big fan. You know, I, I believe we should get Tarek Sims. Actually, I think he's a good player. Um, How many back rollers stuff? do you bloody Warriors need? You've got thousand of them. You got yeah, you like, got Josh Curran, Harris, Lenox Masilla, Bailey Sheridan. Yeah, you Jack Mercy, you and Aikens played a few games there. How many more back rows do you buggers need? Yeah, well, we we still need a bit of depth, like, like you got for the thousands of them. You need some bloody. Yeah, but... You guys need a quality hooker, and probably yeah, I'll, I'll a big so. name, a big name outside back now that RTS is born. I think that's what you need. Your halves will be all right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I agree. That's yeah, I mean, Tom Starling from rugby yeah. underscore league yeah. underscore jersey. Chanel is great yeah. enough. Yes, he is. I think he's fantastic. See you later, Cody, in the chat. Yes, yeah, see you, Cody. Thanks for see watching. Ya. 25 people on here, lads. How good is this? Three people. We're all on here. How good is it? Hey, yeah, now 27. That's good. Oh, yeah. Shout out to, um, where is he? Shout out to New Zealand Warriors uh, fan base. He's always been comments. I always see him around. He's always been good. Shout out to him. Yeah, this question here from um, Nat Burgess Seven says, "Do you think the Knights have a chance?" I think he's mean next year, like oh like, for next year, Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Look, I think. Newcastle's a very in interesting prospect. They made the finals two years in a row. Same position. Go out the same spot last two years. I just I just wonder if they can do it again. I think they'll be up there. Well, look, look, look in the chat. Oh, the king. <laughs> you sick fuck. Fuck. Oh, go and eat some six-year-old mayonnaise, you sick fuck. <laughs> well, go and get that prostitute like you're talking about. He's always doing something really rated out of the king. I think that's why I call him the king. You don't mess with the king. Jesus Christ. Hey, Moxley. CJ Moxley. Moxley. Oh, that's the question. Everyone should get it, get on their knees and just bow down to him. CJ has asked, I think Para are a chance Saturday night. Yeah, I, I have to agree. I think Parramatta can definitely cause an upset. I mean, it's definitely possible. I can't see it personally, but, you know, it, it's not. It's definitely not impossible because... I think Parramatta have the game and have the the players the players to sort of push Penrith all the way. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's possible. Ah, Panthers win and Panthers win well. They're my specials of the round. I think the Panthers will win by about yep. thirty points. I think they'll flog them Saturday night. They've been copping it all week, bro. All this pressure and choking talk I've been hearing everywhere. I think they'll be. I think they'll win well. Yeah, I think they will win. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, fifth Paramount definitely can challenge, but I think Penrith should get up. Yeah. Yeah, question in chat. Thoughts on the Bunnies coming for semi finals? How will they perform? I play Xbox Justin in the chat, by the way. Uh, yeah, I think South would be good, man. South Manly would be the best prelim. If it happened, but we'll see. I think that'd be fine. Yeah, I'm keen for that. If it happens, I'm really keen. All right, lads. Well, I've got to jump off here now. I think um, yep. Josh is going to do a live stream or something, so I'm going to jump off. Last question I'll answer. Broncos have a chance of making the top eight. Yep, they do, but they just got to find a way to win those tight games. And Adam Reynolds' his job is to win. Those tight games. You look at the Broncos season, which I'll be doing a review on in, a, in the um, in the coming days. The Broncos lost eight games this year by a margin of one to twelve. Next year they get a recognised halfback in Adam Reynolds, and they get a strike yep. outside back from injury for Tony Staggs. So, you, if if Reynolds and Staggs play fifteen to twenty games that have a twenty-five round season, Broncos probably make the finals. So. Um, yeah. yeah, thanks, thanks, Blocker in the chat. Love you, Blocker. You, you big, you big, beautiful bastard. I'll see you on Fox Sports when I'm watching the fucking coverage on the weekend. Love you, Blocker. 
Thanks, Frank and Lorenzo. Have a good night, boys. Yep. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, you too. See you, Nick. All right. Who else wants to uh, join? Keegan has asked, if you could add me, I'm keen for some sold discussion. Yeah, so Keegan seems like he wants to have a talk if he wants to. Yeah, we'll see if we can add him in. All right, I'll just send you a request. You should be able to uh, just accept it. Yeah, well, are we gents? Yeah, good, yeah we're good. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Have a good night. Yeah, so far, yeah. How about yep. you? Yeah, that's the way. Yeah, but pr pretty calm, to be honest. Oh, that's a run in. All right, let's get some questions rolling in, eh? So, um, Owens is our predictions for the top eight next year. Like I said before, I think it's a bit too early. I I'd probably predict my ladder next year in, fe in February, but uh, yeah, early for mine. Yeah, look, yeah, same coming from these ways. Um, you know, looking too far in the future, to be honest. So I think we should wait till about February to March, to be honest. Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah, fair enough. Um, <clears throat> uh, see if we can get some more questions in. Just going through them. I've actually just come up with a question, if that's all right. Yep, sure, go ahead. Thoughts on um Adam Reynolds going to the Broncos? Um, um, yeah, it's a good night. signing. Yeah, it's it's a good signing. Yeah, um, he'll be um very important, you know, for the Broncos. Add a bit of experience there, so brings a bit of a good kicking game as well. So, yeah, I think he'll really help them. Yeah, will definitely help them for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the Broncos needed an organizer, didn't they? Because I think that's one thing the Broncos are lacking an organizer and that team to kind of lead. The rest of the team across the park, and yeah, I think Adam Reynolds' leadership for the Broncos will be very, very vital next year. So, I think it'll be a very good signing. It could be one of the best signings next year, in my opinion. Yeah, look, hundred percent, totally agree. Uh, SS Sorens said, "Can I please join the call?" Um, I think there's yep. only four. Yep. Only four people can join. I'm pretty sure. So, um. <laughs> Uh, Marty, Marty Tapel might come to the Dragons, apparently, rugby league fanatic has said. Uh, Tom Evans has said thoughts on Kevin Walters getting sacked. Yeah, I don't think he'll get sacked. That from, but I've, I've, I've heard he's staying for next year. So. Yeah. Um, Garn has uh, asked, do you th think if Manly lose this weekend, it does it take from Tommy's great season? Uh, really no. I mean, losing back to back finals would look pretty manly. Back to back finals would be very bad for Manly. It's a, it's a bad look if that happens. But I think that the individual season Tom's had, I think, you know, you can't say, I guess you can't say that losing would affect his season. I, I can't really say that, to be honest. Yeah. You're spot on there. And the question here from Nat Burgess Seven is asking the Knights signing Dan Go Dan Gago, is it a good signing? Heaven there. Yeah, I believe. He's going to add some experience there. I think, I think you know, he, he'd be really be good for that. Um, That, uh, uh, what side does he play on? I think he's a left. Does he? He play on the left. I think you're cutting out, Lorenzo. 
of Shul's school. Red Sun, the uh, Dallium 2018 boards went out first week. Yeah, that was disappointing. Yeah, I can't hear you. Go. I can't hear you, um, Lorenzo. I think your connection is cutting out. Yeah, look, um, I'm my head off now. Actually, anyway. to the chat. Yep. All right. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. Yes, yeah, yeah. old mate. I'll catch you later. Yeah. See ya. See ya. Yeah. Look, I, I might just head off now. Is um Jackson Haynes in the chat still? Um, no, it's not. Anyone else want to jump on um before I, you know, might end it soon? It's been going for a bit. <clears throat> yeah, if anyone else wants to jump in, uh, just request, just talk footy. That's about it. Okay, Alan, if you're still in the chat, um, type it there for a second. <clears throat> Just keep sending your questions through it if you guys got any more questions. Might end it in a minute. Nate Burgess, 07, said, Keegan, what team you go for? I go for the Rabbitohs, mate. <coughs> yeah, how do you see the uh, bunnies going? Didn't touch them. Oh, what happened? He just left. Anyway. Yeah, guys, I might jump off now. Um... Uh, oh, CX, um, yeah, how's it going? Um, if anyone else wants to join, um, just send it through, uh, send in your quest through. I always, I'm just going to end it now as I have been going for a bit long here. Yeah, have a good one. Um, Steve Roach 89, have a good one. CJ Moxie sent a request. I tried to sit, add you in before, see if I can add you in this time. A lot of awesome work on your page, man. Thanks very much. Appreciate that. Appreciate that comment. Not sure why. CJ, I've sent your request, but it's not going through. Actually, I'm going to answer this question here uh, from Steve Roach 69. If you could add one player to your team, who would you want? Uh, it'd be Joey Manu, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I, I think it'd be great to have. Yeah, but anyway, so um, is there anyone else that wants to join last minute before I do end it?
All right, guys, I think I'm going to jump off now. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sending your questions and comments. Um, yeah, I might do another one. might do another live um, soon, but thanks guys for tuning in. I think I'm going to head off now. Um, have a good night, everyone. Enjoy the footy this weekend, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys all again soon.